So I'm currently at the cemetery visiting my Mima and my Papa. Um, it's the 18th of August. I just had a really bad couple days at work where I have always been a team player. I bust my ass for my patients, for providers, for my coworkers. And when you work with people that don't want to help you and don't have the same work ethic as you, it's frustrating. And I was going to drive home. I left early. I told them I mentally was drained. I'm just not feeling well. I don't have a provider today. And I just immediately started crying. And I, I needed someone to talk to. And I hadn't seen my mom and papa in a while. Because... It's heartbreaking because I miss them so much. But to come here and cry and let everything out really felt good. I'm just frustrated that I have such a good work ethic, such a drive to do what I do in healthcare. And I work with people that don't. I got into healthcare because of my Mima. Because I love taking care of her, I wanted to take care of other people. And that's why I treat my patients and their families the way that I treated my Mima, the way that I would want healthcare people to treat my Mima and my parents and my brother. And I just had to leave because I was so pissed off and I know that I had left nursing for a couple of months before but I cannot continue to work in a situation where people just don't care like you know any job you should not care it's your job People depend on you for whatever you're doing, whether it's warehouse work, whether it's landscaping, whether it's healthcare, whether it's teaching, whether it's fast food, okay? But healthcare especially is not a job that you work in to just fuck off. I'm sorry. You don't put people on the back burner. You don't do your own personal calls and things instead of doing refills and getting back to patients who need you. These people depend on you because they have disabilities, diseases, conditions, disorders, and it just, it triggered me so bad and I had to leave. And I hate doing that, but I could not sit next to the person that I was next to any longer because I was going to snap. And that's that. Like, I'm sorry I sound like crap. I'm sorry I look like crap. But that's how I feel. And I vented to my Mima and my Papa, wishing that they were here. And I told them how this country, how this world, everything is going to shit. And everyone is overworked. Everyone is overwhelmed. Getting nowhere. I just mentally needed a break and I feel like I had to do what I had to do and a coworker that I'm closer to I vented to her before I left and I just text her when I left and I'm like am I wrong for being upset am I wrong for feeling the way I'm feeling and she's like no absolutely not you're not I just I get so upset about these things because I'm so passionate about it and because I care and I hate working with people that don't care. Whether I was 16 working at the t-shirt shop or when I was a CNA or now when I'm a nurse, 
I hate working with people that don't want to work when they're at work. That's just what it is. And I can't be around that energy because I'm there to work. I'm there to take care of these people and their families. I'm here to get stuff done. And if you don't care, if you get mad because a patient wants to come in and have their blood pressure checked or they want medications refilled or their legs are swelling like balloons and you don't want to see them, don't work in healthcare. This is not the place for you. Go work at home. Go work in a call center. Go work fast food. Go find your niche. Go find what works best for you. Because clearly, helping people in healthcare is not for you. And these are things that obviously I would have said to this person, but I don't want to cause drama in our pod where all of us work because I have to sit there every day and I don't want it to be, you know, an awkward, uncomfortable position because I work with another nurse back there too. There's three of us. And I don't want it to be awkward. I don't want it to be weird. I don't want to cause issues. But at the same time, I don't want to work with you when you don't have a good work ethic. Period. So I'm tired of taking on the tasks of helping this person when they just sit there and they're making personal calls and doing all this shit. I'm over it. I know this isn't weight loss related, but I just had to post this because venting helps. <laughs> Clearly, I feel a lot better now. I'm going to go home and honestly, I'm going to take a nap and hopefully I wake up in a better mood and I might mow the grass. It's a little hot out. It's like 87, but still, it needs to be mowed. So yes, that's how today, yesterday, my provider's been out all week. So I've been trying to help and I've been jumping in to help wherever I'm needed. And this person didn't have a provider today either. And I was still jumping in to help and they weren't. And that, it just triggered me in so many ways. And that's why I freaked out. So thank you guys for listening to this segment. And hopefully tomorrow will be a better day.